Hi, I'm Aaron Martins here, just sitting here talking about braid inlines and the applications I use them for, literally. Um, this is XX1 braid. Uh, I use braid a lot. I use it for a lot of things. Uh, my kids use it. My kids love it. I have a five-year-old boy and a nine-year-old daughter, and they love like the lighter braids on spinning gear, and because they can cast like a pro. <laughs> Um, that's one of the advantages of braided lines is bait caster or spinning rod, you can throw incredibly far. I mean, I get an extra 50 feet on cast on just about everything if I go through the same bait on braid as, as, I, as I do on just fluorocarbon or really good monofilament by sunline. I can throw way further with braid. So that's definitely an advantage of braided lines. Um, again, uh, another huge advantage is there's no stretch, zero. So on those really long super casts that you're making like Superman, um, as soon as you get a bite out there, I've seen you're throwing some walking bait and it's like you're using a big reel and you're throwing it at 200 feet, which is very possible actually. Um, if a fish strikes it out there 200 feet, since it hits the water, you got them. I mean, it's not like you have to set the hook and run to the back of the boat and jump on the back of your motor, you know, jerking the rod at the same time. As soon as you pull, that fish is going to be hung. Um, Another little thing, a little tip I'll tell you is anytime you get bit on braid, don't really set the hook. Um, you're better off just reeling, kind of pulling with the rod. Uh, I've learned this over the years. Like I said, I fish, I've been fishing braid for, I don't know, 25 years, and this is by far the best one, though. Uh, I've learned not to set the hook, kind of just kind of pull them. And that way, if a fish does miss a bait or jumps on a bait or hits a bait underwater, whatever you're fishing, uh, you're not jerking the bait away from him. A lot of times, if you just pull and you do miss him, he doesn't get it. As soon as you start working the bait again, he'll come back and grab it. That's a little tip for you. Um, I also use a lot of, uh, uh, I use an Albright and a, w, a uni to uni knot for tying the SX1 braid to, my favorite is shooter to tie a leader to. Um, but I definitely a leader, do a, anywhere from a foot to maybe a two, three foot leader on a lot of my reaction baits, like jerk baits, top water especially. Um, I like the leaders. Um, one of the reasons I like a leader, and I use a lot of 16 and 20 pound shooter, is because it, it uh, keeps the bait from hanging itself. So if a fish strikes your bait and knocks it up in the air, you have a lot less chance that your bait's gonna hang under the braid and, and catch itself and, and foul your bait. So that's one of the reasons I use a leader. So that's some of the tips I, that I do, some of the things I do with braided lines.